book industry, like so many others around the world, has felt the impact of the pandemic. News 2's Spencer Conley spoke with some of the modern pioneers of the comic age to find out what they experienced and what their plans are moving forward. A fun escape from everyday life with fantastic tales of heroes taking on their villains and overcoming any adversity thrown at them. But last year's supervillain was COVID-19. 2020 was definitely an interesting year. Mike Campbell, owner of the Charleston comic shop Captain's Comics and Toys, says his store survived the mandatory shutdown of non-essential businesses, just like Mr. Fantastic would, by being flexible. We went mobile. Um, we went delivery. We did kind of a lot of online stuff through Facebook and Instagram. Um, but the idea was to still stay connected with our fans. And that fan connectivity proved successful. But then they ran into another issue. One Captain's Comics and Toys shared with other comic shops around the globe. All the major publishers stopped printing new books. A lack of heroes. Overall for 2020, we got about 25% less new material than we normally would. We call it the industry pencils down. Greg Bo Watson, a South Carolina comic book creator and illustrator, has worked for Marvel, DC, and Cinescope. He says, once the pandemic hit, the industry came to a screeching halt and the wheels of creation grinded to a stop. Uh, pencils down order went out across every, you know, all the major publishers and everything. So uh, basically a lot of the uh, penciling and inking and coloring jobs, lettering jobs, they, uh, they dried up. Watson says he and his super friends found an alternate way to put their artistic talents to use. During that time, you know, I was really worried, but then all of a sudden people from all over the world actually started uh, picking up commissions from me. So I was able to stay here in my studio safe. What began as simply a way to stay afloat turned into a newfound passion. I really like dealing directly with the fans. That's always a lot of fun because it's kind of immediate gratification for me as an artist. While his engagement with the fans has grown, there's one thing Watson misses most of all. All the cons, uh, the Comic Cons, they got closed down over the past year. Uh, you know, miss seeing all my colleagues and friends. Well, lucky for Watson and all comic fans across the Lowcountry. The 13th annual Captain's Comic Expo is uh, Charleston's biggest comic book event. You heard that right. Captain's Comic Expo is back for another year, bringing the best of comic book culture to fans across the Lowcountry. But don't worry. The guys at the shop have safety covered. One of the big things with hosting any event this year is making sure that you are doing it safely. With strict protocols in place, Captain's Comic Expo is ready to kick off, representing the healing of the close-knit community of all those with a love for comic books across the low country. So that's a really good thing. Spencer Connolly, count on two. That was News 2 at 4's producer Spencer Connolly. Captain's Comic Expo kicks off tomorrow at Omar Shrine near Patriots Point in Mount Pleasant. First day of the expo is tomorrow. It goes until Sunday, February 21st. Tickets are on sale now.